Hi, I'm Mike Newell, and it's time for the Quarter Horse Show. That's the operative word. The key word is show and showmanship. Lots of preparation into this one. Yeah, there is, Mike. You'll see the hunters in their classes first, and they are dressed differently. They're riders, and then the Western Pleasure is different yet. So you'll see lots of different ages in the show ring with lots of different neat clothes. But before the neat clothes, you have the casual clothes. You see the riders warming up their horses before competition. Let's hear from one of the judges for this event. The quarter horses try to have a class for every participant. For example, today we had some novice classes, that's the beginner class. We had some amateur classes, that's the next class. We had some open classes, and that's the next class. It should be a fun thing for everybody. Here's a look down at the amateur hunter under saddle event. And this class shows the versatility of the quarter horse. When you're judging a specific class, they each have uh, specific things that you're looking for. In the, in the hunt seat, for example, you want a freer moving horse, a horse that can have a 12-foot stride. That's the number that you, most people put between the jumps. So you want a bigger, freer horse in that class. There are two judges judging the quarter horse show, and they are designated as Judge A and Judge B. And here's a look at your final results. Into the Jacobson ring is the Novice Youth Western Pleasure Class. The quarter horse is an American breed which has been exported to many other countries. They we're looking for a horse that is free, natural, has got a lot of cadence, a proper cadence. There's a two-beat trot, there's a three-beat lope, there's a four-beat walk, and we look at all those parts of it and make sure that they have those things. They're lined up now for the final results of the Novice Youth Western Pleasure Class. Into the ring, the Amateur Western Pleasure Class. We're judging the horse in this class, but remember, the better the rider, the better performance the horse will give. People fail to realize that, that if a horse can look really good on this side of the arena, and I'm judging this side, and on this side of the arena, he might spook at the gate, or he might fall out of lead, or he might do something that, that the other judge sees, so that will vary on the card. What we are seeing now is the Western-style lope for which the horses have been highly trained. This is one of the three gates, you can think of speeds, that horses go in Western pleasure. And here's a look at the final results and congratulations to our winners.